Mauricio Pochettino hijacks Mikel Arteta transfer plan amid agent admission. Chelsea manager Mauricio Pochettino is preparing to make another addition to his squad as the Blues aim to battle their way back into Champions League contention. Ajax winger Mohamed Koudis has emerged as a target for Chelsea as the Blues look to beat Arsenal to the punch. The Ghana international has been tipped to leave the Dutch side this summer after their failure to qualify for the Champions League. Last season's Premier League runners-up had looked to lead the way over a deal, but Chelsea look unlikely to let them get a deal over the line with no resistance. Kudus' 18 goals saw him end the 2022-23rds campaign as Ajax's top scorer in all competitions, while Dutch legend Marco van Basten has argued he's better than former teammate Antony, who moved to Manchester United last summer. Arsenal have already done business with Ajax this summer, bringing in versatile youngster Jurian Timber, but a second deal could be trickier. According to The Athletic, Chelsea have made contact with the Amsterdam club over a potential deal. They are yet to lodge an official bid, but their interest has been made clear. Pochettino's side have already bolstered their forward line this season, adding Christopher Nkunku and Nicholas Jackson to their ranks. There is room for more additions, though, with Christian Pulisic, Kai Havertz and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang among those to leave. Kudus scored five goals in Europe last term, netting against Rangers, Napoli and Liverpool in the Champions League. He was also one of the bright spots in Ghana's early World Cup exit, scoring twice in their only win of the tournament. I think it is best for both Ajax and Mohamed that he makes a transfer now, Kudus agent Jennifer Mendelovic told The Telegraph earlier in the summer. Now is the right time. He has ignored a proposal to extend his contract until the summer of 2026. What I can say is that after the World Cup and this season there is a lot of interest in Kudus. Antony's move from Ajax to Manchester United last summer might give some a moment's pause, with the Brazilian blowing hot and cold in his first season in England. However, based on Van Basten's comments, those fears could be eased. I find Mohamed Kudus a much better football player than Antony, the former striker told Ziggo Sport. Antony has his skills, but he is confused with the things he is trying to do. Kudus has much better technique and he knows what he is doing. Antony may be faster, but Kudus is smarter and more technical. He is much more of a footballer, you can place him anywhere on the pitch, an all-rounder for the team. The Dutch great then added. In fact, I like him much better than Antony. He's more fun to watch play. Gunners back in for Luis. Douglas Luis was linked with a move to Arsenal for quite some time during last January's transfer window, but a deal failed to materialize and the Gunners opted for Jorginho instead. While the Italian has performed well since he arrived, rumors are now rife that Arteta has once again shifted his attention to the Aston Villa ace. However, Arsenal are not the only club keen on landing Luis's signature, with North London rivals Tottenham also monitoring the situation, as per the Sun. It is believed that Spurs view Luis as the ideal candidate to replace Pierre-Emile Hojbjerg, who could be on the move. It is a similar story for the Gunners, who want to bring Luis to the Emirates if Thomas Partey does end up joining Al Ali. Arsenal have already been extremely busy in the summer transfer market and are looking at what would be a record spend but do not appear likely to stop there amid fresh links with Douglas Luis and Mohamed Koudis. Arsenal have gotten their summer transfer business off to a flyer. Kai Havertz, Declan Rice and Jurian Timber have all been signed this window. All three of them made an appearance as the Gunners went 2-0 down to Manchester United on Saturday evening. Jadon Sancho and Bruno Fernandes scored the all-important goals for the Red Devils but there was still plenty to be positive about despite the result. Despite their huge outlay so far this summer, the Gunners do not appear likely to be finished there. They are going head-to-head -head with Chelsea for the signing of another Ajax star in the form of Mohamed Koudis. The Gunners might also face considerable competition for the signing of Kylian Mbappe, who is set to leave PSG. Adu has a trick up his sleeve in an effort to seal the French superstar's services. Elsewhere, there is slight doubt over Arsenal's upcoming friendly with Barcelona. The Catalans have already been forced to cancel their showdown with Italian giants Juventus after illness in the camp.